I wish we weren't wearing masks so we could see how exciting it is to come before you today with Joe Biden having the tremendous mandate uh, that he has and that uh, pretty soon the hyphen will be gone from vice president to president-elect Joe Biden. Uh, it's a happy day for our country because Joe Biden is a unifier, because he is determined to bring people together, because he respects all points of view. And as he has said, I ran as a Democrat, I'll govern as president for all of the people, whether they voted for me or not. So I am so officially pleased with the outcome that is imminent and also personally delighted uh, because of the quality and caliber of leadership that Joe Biden will provide. This morning, it is clear that the Biden-Harris ticket will win the White House. Uh, his election is historic, propelled by the biggest vote ever in the history of our country, 73.8 million and counting Americans, the most votes ever received by any presidential ticket in history. President-elect Biden has a strong mandate to lead and it will have a strong Democratic House with him and many Democrats in the Senate. This has been a life or death fight for the fate of our democracy, as he says, the soul of our country. We did not win every battle in the House, but we did win the war. In 2018, we won 40 seats, 30, 30 or 31 of them in districts where Trump had won before. They were in Trump districts. In preparation for the 2020 election, I said to people, you have to help us they say, oh, you've won. Let's just do the Senate and the White House. I know we won in districts, Trump districts, with Trump not on the ballot. In the next election, he will be on the ballot, and that makes winning those districts a steeper climb. I'm pleased that we've won overwhelmingly won those districts, not all of them. Not all of them. But next time, he won't be on the ballot. Good morning, everyone. Um, <clears throat> let me just say, with regard to the uh, matter I know you were all concerned about, about the unfolding presidential election, I've sent out a statement on tweet, uh, Twitter this morning that I think uh, you've all gotten. And beyond that, I don't have anything to say on that particular subject. What we do want to focus on today and we picked the Kentucky History Museum because we're talking about the recent uh, history of the Republican Party in this state. It's been a dramatic transformation.